So today I just have a quick video. I want to talk about the git keep and git ignore files. Now these are files that you will see in a lot of git repositories. So we're going to talk about what they are, what they do, and how you can make them. So I've got an empty folder here called keep ignore. That's just the folder name. It's my project name. That's all that there is. I don't have a repo yet on GitHub. I don't have a repo yet here. So I'm going to create one. I'm going to say git init. And there we go. I have now turned my folder into a git repository. So we get the dot git folder showing up and all the settings files that you would expect to see there. So I have nothing right now in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the GitHub hub app. And if you're looking to know how that works, I've got a video on that. If you click on the link up there, you can see how that video uh, or that tool works in that video. I'm going to use that command. So I'm going to say hub create, and I'm going to call it the same thing that I've got here. So my repo is Professor Steve, and that's a lowercase t. And I'm going to create a repo called the same thing as my folder here. So git ignore. This is going to create a repo on GitHub with the same name as this, and it's going to update the remote settings in here to point at this repository. And there we go. So now my local repository and the one on GitHub, these are both connected. And if I were to come in here and command click on that, open it up, here it is. So I have just created this on GitHub. So it's in my account. This is the repo, but there's nothing here. There's no files or anything yet. And that's what we want at this point. So inside of here, we've got no files or anything like that. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to create a file. So let's call it, let's create the, uh, the readme file. There we go. So I've created it. I've opened it. We're talking about git keep and git ignore. These are the two files. Now, git ignore is actually one of the files that you get as part of git. If you use dot git ignore, git understands that what you're saying is, here's a list of files and folders that I don't want you to track. Now, we haven't done this yet, but we can do this. We can say touch dot git ignore. And now we have this file inside of here. It's untracked itself. But if I come in here and I say, you know, there's certain things that I do not want to track. There's certain things that I don't ever want uploaded to GitHub or whatever my external remote repository is. I don't want them to be sent. I just want them locally. So one example would be node modules. And that's going to be a folder. So by putting the slash on the end, I'm telling it, okay, if you've got a folder at the root called this, ignore it. If you have a file called private.txt, I want to ignore that. Or if I've got a file called private.md, whatever files you want to create, we're saying now inside here, we're telling Git, when I do my Git add and Git commits, ignore these things. Don't track this folder. Don't track these files. So if I were to create one of these, or both of them, there we go. You can see there's no U showing up here. They're just left as gray. It knows that it does not need to track these things. So it's not going to, even when I say git add dash A, so I'm adding everything that's untracked. This readme file has been added. The git ignore file has been added, but these were just ignored. And that is the purpose of this git ignore file. Node modules. Now, right now, it's not going to track this because it's just a folder. And we could put stuff inside of here. Uh, let's say we're going to do an npm init 
and we will do an npm install dash d uh, just cow say that's a nice small module that I add sometimes just when I want to have something inside there so I do have things inside of node modules there is stuff inside of here but because git ignores has ignored that folder when I now say git add all it still does not track anything going on in here it doesn't track these my package.json and my package lock file those get tracked but not the node modules so let's say we'll do a git commit so we've got the git ignore the readme and the package.json and the package lock file those are now all committed there we've made a commit to our repository if i do my git push origin main to put it up on github there we go it's uploaded and we refresh this there they are git ignore readme package.json and the lock file i don't have those private.txt the private.md or the node modules those are not up here okay great so that's working that's git ignore it's all about what you don't want to upload now let's say i'm working on this and i have some standard folders for my web project let's say we've got no, not that so i've got a folder called image i've got a folder called styles and whether i'm creating it here or i'm doing it on the command line make directory uh, let's say scripts okay i've got styles scripts and image those are folders they do exist if i say git add dash a i'm adding everything and git commit dash m added folders nothing to commit it's like but i just added folders empty folders are not seen as something that you need to track if i do git push origin main everything's already up to date there was nothing new to add empty folders are not seen by git as something that it needs to track or care about whether or not they're in the git ignore file here i didn't put them in as things to ignore it's just they don't get tracked and up here i don't get those folders and this brings us to git keep the git keep file is just an empty text file called dot git keep that we place inside of folders if we want to make sure that the folders actually get put up onto github and then somebody else downloads them they get those folders so they don't create their own folder names so i'm going to just clear this off and i'm going to create these files i'm going to put them inside these three folders inside of image i'm going to create a dot git keep inside of styles we will create another dot git keep and inside of scripts there we are i have now created inside these three they're currently untracked but i can add them Now we will push so that it goes up to GitHub. There we are. So it tracked those three files inside those folders because they're there. Because I my git ignore did not say ignore those three folders. Now because there is something, even though it's an empty file, there is actually a file there. And we can see added the git keep files have been added inside of here if i go into the folder there it is now it is an empty file zero bytes there's nothing to it but files get tracked folders do not and this is how we can maintain directory structure and make sure that even empty folders the naming stays consistent so if somebody else downloads the repo 
they will get to see. These are the names you're supposed to use for the folder. So if you're working with somebody else, you can maintain some consistency. Now, we're using .gitkeep, and that has just sort of been standardized as something that developers use. It is actually not part of Git. Git ignore is. That file name is a special file name, and Git will recognize it. Git keep, it's just something that people made up, that people are using, that developers are using. I could create another folder here. Let's say Steve. So I now have a folder here called Steve. There it is. And inside of that, I'm going to create a file called .steve. This is going to do the exact same thing as git keep, but nobody's going to know the purpose of this. If other people look at my repo, they're going to say, why is there a .steve file? What is the purpose of this .steve file? And now we can push it up. And there we have it. So I have this empty folder and it's got this .steve file, which is empty. It's achieving the same end goal of keeping this folder here, but nobody's going to know what a .steve file is. .git keep is just sort of an accepted standard that people use to save these, fo these folders. All right. So hope that answers any of your questions that you had about git ignore git keep. Go forth and uh, get. <laughs> All right. Um, as always, thanks for watching.